Hi there, I'm here for another plan with me, this time for the week of May 8th through May 14th. Again, in my Erin Condren Horizontal Planner, using my Spring Butterflies Weekly Kit. Um, the format for all of my weekly kits so far is the same. I have two little changes in this one, but let me quickly show you. Um, I've got my date and date covers, my top washi divider strips, and all my headers. On this page, I've got my full boxes and half boxes. The difference in this spread is I made a new weekend banner style. Um, it's supposed to kind of match these divider strips, but I was getting sick of the old design. And I so far like this. I'll see how it looks in the planner. I've got checklist, bill do stickers, habit trackers. Uh, and then this is kind of my littles page with all my appointment boxes, TV, dinner boxes, and these dots. Uh, and then, so the first change I had for this kit was the weekend banner, and the second one is this. Um, I'm going to try and start including this in every weekly kit. Um, well, I'm going to include it for at least the next month to get some feedback. These are basically just washi strips. I'll show you how I plan to use them, but I plan to use them to cover up some extra white space um, and also to cover up things like these holidays that come up. I just hate seeing them on my planner, so I decided to do something about it. Um, I won't these, need these yet, so I'll set them aside. I'm going to jump right in with putting my top washi down. So this week is a pretty busy week for me. Um, it'll be busiest in the weekend where I'm going to, I don't know my schedule yet, but I know I'm going to have to work lots of hours. It's graduation for the local um, college, uh, and I work in a hotel, which means that we are beyond booked. Um, so I know they're going to have me working lots of shifts, and I know people are going to try and call off because they don't want to deal with all of those parents and relatives. Uh, because it's a special event weekend, uh, the prices are higher, which means people feel a lot more entitled. Um, which I kind of get it, you know, they're paying more than double our normal rate, so I would expect better service. Okay, so that's the top washi. Um, I wasn't sure how to feel about this digital paper. It comes from one of my favorite shops, but... I'm, I'm glad how it turned out. I was concerned that it wouldn't print nicely. I'm actually going to do things a little differently, and I'm going to put down my divider strips next. I usually do those last, but I think I'm going to do those first. So I saved this one here to f for the end for a reason, because this is the first reason I made these freebies. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one, um, actually, yeah, so I made four of each color. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use it to cover up Mother's Day on here. And it goes a little beyond that, and you can cut it, I guess, but I think that looks fine. So then when I put down my last divider strip, I won't have to see that peeking through because the worst part was that it not only um, I'm gonna have to start from the other side so I can line that up right it not only got covered up the whole word wasn't covered up and it wasn't it was just like half the word was covered up so for like Mother's Day you just see the top half of the word um, and it just looks so bad in my opinion um, and it was one of the things I was really hoping that they were going to change in the new Erin Condren horizontal, but they didn't. Um, and it's one of those things I'll have to consider when I'm deciding when to get, what new planner to get. And I always, I, I don't know yet if I'm going to get the horizontal or the vertical, but I always get them in December because that's when these planners run through. So that is a first great start. Okay, so now that I've got the divider strips down, I'm going to go ahead and put in my full boxes. Mm -hmm. My full boxes. Um, 
Um, I spent a lot of this past week watching some more plan with me, plan with me, the using the um, horizontal planner, and I got some really great ideas on some possible new ways for me to plan using this planner. Uh, I saw someone who actually uses this full boxes section as their today section, um, which I didn't really get just because I always thought the full box section needed to be for your little things. I guess it didn't, doesn't ever need to be for anything, but it just made more sense to me always to make this for your little things. But that's a new way to see it. And then for their little things, they just had like a white space that they put a lot of appointment boxes and various other like strips of things in there. And that was kind of cool. Um, and that was the plan with me where I got the idea to make the, the this extra bit of washi because she just used the like her normal like washi rolls to cover up that area and I'm like huh wouldn't it be nice if that all matched the dividers because I mean like you can definitely tell there's something there but that blends in much more than before. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my headers and put my little things header. Um, and another one I saw did the headers up here just to give them more space. And I can see that because um, this does take up a nice bit of space here. Um, I saw a shop that exclusively did glitter headers, and or a plan with me, not a shop, that exclusively did glitter headers and not these headers. Um, headers with words on them, which I get sometimes I kind of feel boxed in when I have these headers with things on them, you know, like I can't change my mind as to what I want to put in that box. And then of course, who doesn't love glitter? But I don't know how glitter would look in a kit like this. I just feel it, like it would be out of place, you know? Like the kit I, I watched her plan with, it definitely made sense. Um, it was a less clip arty, more, I don't know how to describe the design of it, but it was definitely something that called for glitter headers a lot more than something like this. So I might try to put together a kit in the future where glitter headers are a thing. Um, and I might add them on as like an all cart, but most likely if I choose something, I would make it, uh, yeah, I would make it a freebie just because I could probably fit it in similar boxes like this, meaning I wouldn't have to cut any, or print any new page. Um, I'm trying to decide what to do down here in this one. Um, I know I want to use one of these for social media this week. I want to go back to still using, or not go back, but still use my section over here for some habit trackers. I'm not 100% sure what I will track, though. Okay. Um, another variation I saw was instead of putting their to-do list here, they put it next to the date more, um, and it helped, like, separate out where all the, all the big, like, chunks of color were. And I thought that was kind of cool, but I am a creature of habit. So it's gonna take me a bit before I decide to change how I do my spreads. Um, and that's why my switch to the horizontal was so unexpected. I just saw it, I mean like I went to go buy my new planner and I was planning on getting the vertical one and I just saw it and I'm like, you know what? Why not? Um, I've kinda cornered myself in even with the vertical layouts, uh, I know what I want, I know how I do them, I know my favorite shops, might as well step out of my comfort zone. And it was most definitely, it, it felt like starting with stickers all over again, like I did a few years back. Um, you know, when I first, I didn't even know what a plan with me video was, I didn't understand, I, it was new even to Etsy back then, as a shopper, I didn't really know what I was looking for or where to get from. Um, I was appalled by the shipping costs. I didn't, I just, 
assumed it would be like Amazon where I get free two day shipping and then I had to learn nope it's more expensive and it's most certainly not two days um, but it didn't take me long to start appreciating all the work that people put into um, their sticker kits and then I've obviously moved far away from just buying sticker kits in the past years and I get a lot of my things from there it definitely costs more than if I bought it on Amazon but the quality is generally higher for whatever I buy, and I know I'm supporting. Oh, no, I'm supporting a small business or a crafter at home, which I guess I've become. Pulling my headers back out and getting my to do. Okay, let's choose what I want here. I usually do to clean there, but that hasn't really been serving me. Um, because I know, I guess, ooh, actually, I think I'm going to take up this, uh, box. I'll do it when I come back around after putting these headers down. I think I'm going to put, like, a weekly habit tracker. I don't know what they're called, but, like, these weekly key things. Because I want to use one of them to track my social media for the week, or what I want to post each day. So I, like, make a plan at the beginning of the week. I write it on some piece of paper, and then of course I lose that piece of paper. Um, and I was going to originally use the, I usually have a box for like next week with uh, these, but why not just put two of them down? To do, to do, let's just pull something up with that sticker. Um, and these stickers are like freshly cut, like. The second they were off my, or done with off my silhouette, I grabbed them, took some pictures for my listing, and jumped right in. I didn't get to really check for any in, imperfections, which I usually do. So, I'm going to real carefully pull up the sticker. It is a removable sticker, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I don't want to risk pulling up any paper. And, okay. Um, set that aside. And I'm going to grab... I want to say they're just called like weekly habit, they're not habit trackers, they're just weekly bars. I need to look up what they're called. Alright, um, so that one I will use for my social media. I don't have like a social media thing, so I'm just going to use the notes. And I might find like a sticker later on. Actually, I know exactly what I'll do. I forgot I made myself these so I don't need to put down a header because I just have a blank one I'm liking these so far oh yes okay um I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in down here just finish off this box because I know what it's gonna be um, and I can worry about the rest of the planner then I'm really excited that this all worked nicely with these. Um, so this one is going to be a, a next week tracker. Just planning for whatever's coming up next week. Um, in this right here, I used to track my work hours. I'll use the matching half box. Okay, so this bottom section is done. Moving on to the dates, let's go ahead and pull, actually let me clean up my mess of stickers here. Okay, so Monday is the 8th, oh, those stickers match up, um, then Tuesday is the 9th. I saw somebody that does plan with me. I really need to write these down so when I talk about them, I'm not just talking in like obscure, like this one person who I one time saw a video. Um, but I saw them, they said that they, they're, they're an older person who does plan with me, which I don't know why, but I think is kind of rare. Um, but she says she has arthritis and she uses like all kinds of things to help her pick up little stickers. Um, and that made me think, like picking up those stickers made me think of her. Um, I actually sent her 
um, a free kit because she was talking about how she was she had a horizontal she'd never used and I was like all right I'm gonna send you a kit see if you like it um, just cuz I like doing that I once posted on Instagram about something and somebody who's not a great friend of mine sent me a free kit um, and now I basically buy from their shop once a week which isn't what I was hoping for with them. I just think everybody should get a chance to try out like a full coverage of stickers in whatever planner they're using. Just because it's like a, it's, it's kind of completely different. Okay. And we have the dates on there. Okay. Um, before I forget, because I almost forget every week, I'm going to go ahead and put my today headers down. Okay, so I put down the Today stickers off camera just because it's kind of boring. Um, so before I jump into doing Today sections and actually get into planning, I'm going to put um, up here my flags. This week I'm going with purple up here. Okay. Alright, so... The today section, oops, I use these half boxes that match the full boxes to the dude. Okay, so before I set this down, I want to try to make this work. Two, three, okay. So this is the one big reason I made these, was for this tiny sliver of white. That usually happen. Oh, that's so nice. All right, I'm gonna readjust that sticker because I put it down so crooked. It might not even more crooked. I'm just so excited. It might not seem like a lot, but just that little section of white always just frustrated me to no end. Whew. I'm a little sad because I forgot, because I made these just even amount, I forgot that I make over to do there's one color. But it's okay. They're just going to alternate. So I'm just going to put these down on this side real quick. Ooh. It's been a while since I've been this excited about new stickers. And they're just so small and like, they're not even functional stickers that I just feel a little silly. I just like uh, everything got pushed a little over and I laid that down. I layered that a little much. Oh, I wanted to. I'll do a little better job of cutting these, maybe making a few more because there's definitely room to make like an entire sheet for each color. So that could be interesting. Let's flip this over and do the other side. And my last one. Ah! Can you see what I forgot to put down? I'm so not used to it that I did not put down my new strips. It's fine. They should fit. Hopefully they'll fit. And my last one. <sighs> okay. Um, lastly, I'm going to take this new weekend banner and see how it looks. I'm not exactly sure how I want to. Okay. <sighs> I'll see how the week goes, but so far I really like it. Kind of wish I would have made it, because uh, I purposefully made it darker than my divider strips because I wanted it to be bolder. But now I'm a little bit regretting that. Oh well, I still think it looks great. So, 
just a quick snapshot of what this kit looks like before I actually add my planning things. Um, this is a this is a beautiful kit in my opinion. I don't use like a combination of purple and green often, just because these were actually the colors of my bat mitzvah when I was thirteen. So, oh, bad memories. I do have a lot of stickers on here that are crooked that I feel like I should fix, but on the other hand, really not that much of a perfectionist. All right, so let's dive into the actual planning. I know I'll need this, these stickers. I don't need the freebie. I definitely don't need that anymore. I'll need this again and I'll definitely need this page. So let's set this aside and go day by day first half of the week um so I'm not sure what days I'm working this week but I know I'm not working Monday or Tuesday um so there's that Monday I've got a meeting um, I've got a meeting I've got a drive to so I usually put my work schedule here but I'm trying to figure out if I have enough room over here for everything that I'm doing. Um, yeah, I definitely do. So Monday, I'm going to have to squeeze these on here. Monday I've got a meeting I need to go to put a car sticker. Then Monday is also payday. I won't get to pick up my check until later just because I'm going to go all the way to work. It's a bit of a drive just to pick up a check that I can grab on my next shift. It's going to be a tight squeeze. So next I have um, a meeting with some people. We're doing it over Skype. And lastly, man, I am going through these appointment boxes. Lastly, my boyfriend and I are planning to go see a movie together. I'm going to go ahead and just use an asterisk. I really need to, yeah. So I'm hoping to save that, um, or have a great time and save the movie ticket because I like doing that. Tuesday again is a day off, but there is a meeting. Um, a physical meeting for an organization I work with. So I'm going to grab another appointment box. I'm a little bummed that these are right next to each other. And an exclamation point. And that's all I have so far for that day. Wednesday, first of all, is trash day. Grab. Ooh, I might run out of appointment boxes this week. Because I don't usually use this many in my planning and grab a trash sticker for trash day. And then on Wednesday, I have two bills due. I guess one bill and one thing, one taxes. Uh, I've got my internet bill is due. And in addition, my property taxes are due. And I have yet to pay those. <laughs> I should do that because they have some really, really high fines. Thursday, I got another meeting, the same organization I'm meeting with for Tuesday. I know I'll make the Thursday meeting. I haven't decided on Wednesday one. Um, I'm, I'm just going to put a car sticker for that. And I also plan on Thursday to work on a craft project that I'll definitely upload a video of me doing it. Might be fast forwarded, I'm not sure. But I plan on doing that unless my work schedule is insane. Um, so that's this far. This far. So that is so far this part of the week. I'll definitely add some more uh, checklists down under here. Uh, I use them a lot, as you can see. Okay, second half of the week is definitely not as busy. Thank God, because I would run out of 
Ooh, run out of this not just run out of stickers but run out of energy um so friday uh is when i decide what kit i'm gonna use this week so i'll just put a computer sticker because i've got like a lot saved up um, on my computer that i've used and i just decide which ones i'm gonna do and then sunday i'm gonna film the plan with me um There we go. Whew, that's rough. So I'm also gonna use these habit trackers. Um, add them down here under my this week, ooh, this week header. Let's put the green one first. Okay. Um, That's it for this. I'm probably gonna mark on the mark meal sometime this week. Um, okay. Let's open this up. And here it is. This is my week of May 8th through May 14th before the pen. Um, this is looking like a really unique kit, especially with all the new stuff I added. To fill in this kit, I'm going to be using this new pen that I grabbed from work, actually. I kind of feel bad about that. Uh, Energel Liquid Gel Ink Pen from Pentel. I'm going to fill in all of these things and whatever I know, and then I'll get back to you. And here's my week after the pen. Um, it looks really bare just because I'm planning this on the Saturday before. So um, I'm still working on last week and getting through that. Other than that, um, this is starting to look great. Uh, this pen, I can't stop talking about enough. It really makes my handwriting not look terrible. Thanks for joining me. Putting together this kit has been really fun. It was exciting to try some new things. Even though they may seem really small, they're big for me because I don't do many changes throughout this. I'll link this kit below and um, I don't think I used any stickers besides this kit. I think that's a first for me for a while at least. Um, so I guess I can only link this kit below. Um, let me know what you thought of this video and this kit and any feedback that you might have.